Hi, my name is Nancy Bruce, and I'm the person who is the creator of the Wildflower Exhibit for the Sycon Barbecue each year. Today we'll be exploring the sunny hillsides and shady glades of Sycon. Chinese houses thrive in the shade under oak trees on steep north-facing slopes, as do deltoid balsam root, a member of the sunflower family. The strong stem fibers of purple milkweed are used by yokuts to make cordage for nets and for lashing. Silky hairs on the leaves and flowers of California milkweed help it retain moisture in dry conditions. Narrowleaf milkweed is found along the edges of drainages. Monarch butterflies and many other insects lay their eggs on all three of these milkweeds. Common madia turn their flower heads to follow the sun's path through the sky on sunny days, a phenomena called heliotropism. Chick lupin comes in two colors and grows in partial shade at Circle J Ranch and along Bear Creek Road. The orange poppies we see blooming all over Sycon are foothill poppies. Here's how to tell them from the California poppy. California poppies have a disc under the bloom and more robust foliage. The foothill poppy lacks a disc under the bloom and has finer foliage. The California poppies growing at Sycon have been planted by people. Cream cup poppies range from Baja California, Mexico, all the way to Northern California. It's surprising how hairy these poppies are. Bush poppies are fire followers. You'll find them near the top of Sky Trail. Frying pans grow in shallow soils. Fairy poppies grow in steep north-facing slopes, both thriving in areas with less competition from non-native annual grasses. Bleeding hearts grow in moist, shady woodlands. Hard to believe this flower is in the poppy family until you look closely at its leaves. Bird's eye gilia has blue pollen and grows best on well-drained, gravelly soils. Gold fields look identical to foothill sunburst. You've got to look at the leaves. In gold fields, they're linear and opposite. In foothill sunburst, they are branching. Easy to recognize, our native thistle is cobweb thistle and is covered with cobwebby hairs. White hyacinth is a late blooming geophyte, a plant that has an underground storage organ like a bulb that allows this plant to flower in unfavorable conditions. Ethereal's spears are also geophytes, growing each year from a corm, an underground bulb similar to an onion. Mustang Clover's genus, Leptosiphon, is Greek for narrow tube, referring to the long, narrow corolla tube of this flower. True baby stars are called microflowers because the blooms are only about a half centimeter across. Bee flies and hawk moths are equipped to pollinate these microflowers with the long corolla tubes. California blackberry has much smaller and kinder thorns than the non-native Himalayan blackberry. Stop and smell the roses if it's a California rose. They captivate with their wonderful rosy scent and abundant pollen. Common Lomatium lives on open grassy hillsides and is a host plant for the Anis swallowtail butterfly. When petals and sepals cannot easily be distinguished, they're called tepals, and glassy onion has six shiny tepals. Flannel bush is the northernmost member of the cacao family. It's found at the base of Sky Trail. Moist meadows are home to Hartwig's checker bloom. In springtime bloom, blue elderberry hosts a multitude of insects. Check out the lacewing at the bottom of this flower. Indian pinks grow in moist shady areas along rivers, attracting hummingbirds with their bold red flowers. Sacred datura flowers open in the morning and evening, closing up in the heat of midday. Pipestem clematis is a climbing vine with showy flowers that turn into lovely swirling seed heads. I hope you enjoyed today's flower display. 
and thank you always for your support of SciCon.